everybody. Andrea again, of course. So let me talk to you guys about common insurance submission errors. So what you're doing wrong, um, that would make the insurance company deny that claim. It could be something that you did, or it could be something, some information that you did not get from the patient. So let me kind of go through all of those errors. Don't mind me because I left notes because I made a lot of mistakes when I first started and I was ripping my hair out, like, why is this not working? I have to send it again, but you learn from your mistakes and you don't do them again. It's very, very simple. And some of these mistakes are very silly, but it happens. So number one, actually, which I'm going to share my screen again, you guys, I'm sorry. I just got rid of a form. I'm just getting that together for you really quickly here. I'm going to go through the insurance form and I'm going to show you the common errors that people have told me that either they're doing and they ask me questions like, Andrea, why did this not work or mistakes that I made myself? So let me share my screen here. So this is that CDHA insurance form. There we go. So the common mistakes I see is very basic here, but that people don't fill out all the information. Make sure to fill out all the boxes. Don't forget the ones up here. Don't forget to click in this box. Don't forget to sign everything. The patient needs to sign three spots. One, two, three. And don't forget that you have to sign it as well. Don't forget the date. This was the common thing that I made a mistake with. I don't know why I would always forget the date on the bottom. If you forget the date, they will deny the claim. And sometimes they don't even tell you why the claim was denied. They will just say that the patient has 0% coverage. And you're thinking, what? You talk to the patient and they go, no, I'm covered. What are you talking about? So then you have to call the company and then they tell you your form wasn't filled out correctly. So don't make that mistake. Another common error, sorry, I'm gonna share my screen again here, is not staying within the boxes. I know that sounds so silly, but for example, if you are writing your code name, like, I don't know, three units of scaling. And for some reason you put the name over here where it should be the price, they're, they're going to deny the claim, you guys. So please just be careful. Very, very, just fill the form out properly and you're laughing. Like that is a pretty good sign that it's going to be accepted. Some other common errors are not having the patient's birthday co um, correct. Either your patient gave you the wrong birthday. It happens. It happens, especially when they're filling out their spouse's form. I find they get the month wrong, the year wrong. Maybe they're not, you know, they probably know their birthday, but when they were telling you the birthday, they got mixed up. Who knows? But make sure the birthday is correct, because if the claim is denied, sometimes the insurance company doesn't tell you it's the wrong birthday. They just say no coverage. So then you have to play detective. So get the right birthday. I always confirm with my patients, especially new patients. Um, so for little Timothy here, his birthday is October 30th, you know, whatever year, 2007, um, whatever, uh, 2007, no. <laughs> Anyways, it's 2021 now, but you get it, right? So confirm the birthday for all the family members and make sure you have the month the day and the year right. Some people mix up the month, some people mix up the day. A very common error. I know it sounds funny, but it's so true. Another common error is not knowing whose insurance policy it is. So I'm gonna share my screen again. Down here where you're filling out the insurance policy, if you're putting, let's say the husband's name down, but it's not the husband's insurance policy, it's the wife's policy. So you put the wrong name down here, they're not going to cover it. They're going to deny it. So please make sure you have the right insurance policy. I would say I made that one. <coughs> oh my God, <laughs> excuse me. <coughs> sorry guys, oh my God, I'm choking on my own saliva. I don't have water here, but <laughs> sorry but I made that mistake the most. So I would ask patients whose insurance policy is it? And let's say the wife said to you, oh, it's mine, like this is my card. Well, it doesn't mean it's her policy. It could be the husband's, especially when it comes to primary insurance and secondary insurance. 
um, the primary might be the husband's and then the secondary is the wife's or vice versa. But please make sure to follow through with that and know the differences, okay? Those are common errors I see. Sharing my screen again, I should just keep it up. But <laughs> another error is, you see in part three, where it says client patient relationship to the person claiming. So let's say you're filling out the form for the child. And well, this isn't the child's insurance policy, right? This would be the mom's or the dad's. Down here, you would put a uh, child. Let's say you're filling out the form for the wife and it is the wife's policy. So it is hers. Down here, you would say uh, self. OK, because self means it's their policy. If it's the husband's um, treatment, but it's the wife's policy down here, you would say spouse. So make sure to really know the difference. OK, does that make sense, you guys? Those are honestly the most common errors. I would say some other errors are, which has happened to me, if I'm coming home and it's late at night, I don't do my like paperwork right away. I'm doing it like later at night, say 9.30 p.m. And I'm trying to submit electronically to the patient's insurance company. Sometimes the insurance gets denied. And I wonder why, like, what the heck? It's just simply because I'm sending it too late. Do it again the next day and it won't be denied. I just thought, okay, well, the insurance, it's not working. I'm going to have to mail it off. That's weird. So I tried again the next day, like even if it's a Saturday morning and it went through just fine. So be careful of the timings you're sending it through. Or sometimes technology happens. You might be se um, sending through something EDI and it doesn't work. You're like, why is this not working? Just try it again in a couple hours. Try it again tomorrow and it will probably work. That's another reason why I like having a dental hygiene software because if I'm confused or I don't know why something's not working, I call them and they have amazing support. They help me right away. I have made very stupid errors sometimes where they kind of look at it for me um, through their, what's that called? Like they can see my computer screen from where they are. I forget what that's called. Sorry, <laughs> I feel silly. But anyways, they'll be looking at it and they'll say, um, Andrea, you forgot the patient's last name. And I'll be like, oh my God, I didn't even realize. Or Andrea, there's no insurance company highlighted. Oh my God, really? So you kind of need those things. So these are very simple errors that you just might not see because you're busy, right? You're busy. Like you can look at the same thing and you just simply can't see it. That's why it's nice to have support, right? So let me know, you guys. I hope that helps. Those are definitely the common errors. Um, just be careful, take your time and you got this because you want to get paid, right? So thank you guys so much for listening. Let me know if any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.